Moore, Mr. Fahat, Ms. Chan, Ms. Cohen, staff, teachers, parents, invited guests, my fellow classmates. <laughs> I tried to find a Dr. Seuss quote to stick in here because like, here's one of those necessary parts of any valedictorian speech. But alas, I couldn't find one that was fitting with what I planned to say. I instead chose a quote from my personal favorite, C.S. Lewis. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> English class gets out. <laughs> Friendship is unnecessary. Like philosophy, like art. It has no survival value. Rather, it is one of those things that gives value to survival. So what is a friend? I consider a friend someone who is trustworthy, reliable, knows when to be serious and when to lighten up, is willing to stand up for you, knows what makes you smile, and will trust you in return. Much of what we have accomplished at Danforth would not have been possible without our family and friends. I know from my personal experience I would not be standing here in front of you today if it wasn't for the amazing support number that is my family. My mom, my dad, my sister Catherine, who couldn't make it, and many other relatives have supported me in my growth as a person. My mom is my personal cheerleader. My dad is my pit crew, making sure I keep everything working. My sister is my comic relief, making sure I don't ever stay too serious for too long. I am very fortunate to say that my family are my friends. I consider myself very lucky to have an amazing support network of friends here at Danforth. In grade 9, I met a lot of amazing people who continue, continue to be my friends. But grade 9 was just the start. I have had classes with people from all of the different programs in this school. With each experience, they have challenged my views on life and how I interact with people. My classmates in this year's Day One Chemistry class deserve a great big thank you. <laughs> Although it was a challenging course, someone always knew when to make a joke to lighten up the atmosphere in the class. It would have been a much harder course without the comic relief and band that took place. The teachers weren't exactly friends, but they were friendly, and many had qualities of being a friend of them crossing that line. Every teacher that I have had has gone the extra mile to make courses either really interesting, really hard, or both. If the course content was difficult, then the teachers were, were available during their breaks to help students. We have had teachers who have shared their passion for their subject, as well as raising awareness of issues close to their hearts. The love of reading, the respect of human rights, and who could forget Zimbabwe? <laughs> we all have our favorite Danforth moments. When I was thinking about my most important memories at Danforth, I struggled to pin down which ones had the greatest impact. I settled on my experiences in two classes, grade 11 drama and grade 11 art. My performance in Waiting for Godot had a profound impact on my confidence as an actor and as a public speaker. I also learned that by trusting others, you would be able to pull off the great performances. My law class taught me how to practice what I preach when respecting other people's backgrounds. I crossed paths with some amazing people whom I would have never met otherwise. And so now, you understand why I think that friendships are so important. What remains to be said is how do we act on this now that we have graduated. We know how important, how important friends were to us during our time here at Danforth. So how do we share that love of friendship with others? An anonymous writer said, you cannot plow a field by turning it over in your mind. You must take action in order to do what you want in your life, to make other people's lives better. It takes effort, it takes support, it takes friendship. It may not be the thing that will keep you living, but it gives value to the process. It is now time that we go out and do what we must in order to make life worth living 
for those who are marginalized and not accepted. That is our job as humans. I challenge you to go out now, make that difference that is needed of you, spread that love and friendship to other people who don't have those luxuries now. Thank you for your time. And congratulations.